Welp, I made it on another reality TV show. It's actually pretty easy. You just make up a fake backstory and before you know it, you're on. But some of you guys remember the last time I tried doing this, the TV show sued me for $5 million and I almost lost my YouTube channel. But who cares? I'm doing it again. But this time in Rome. From what I've learned, if you have an idea that comes with a lot of liability, it's probably not best to do it in the same country twice. So yeah, let's uh, see what happens. So when applying to a reality TV show, there's really only two things that matter. An awesome backstory and an awesome performance. So just for the sake of this TV show, my parents are professional tightrope walkers because tightrope walking has been in the family tree for, oh my God, wow, as long as I can remember at least. Now it's my turn to be a professional tightrope walker. But tightrope walking sucks. You, you just walk from one side to the other. It's boring. But you know what's not boring? Backflips. My parents didn't like this because this is not proper tightrope walking form or something. Screw you, parents. Now I'm going to make it more dangerous. I'm only ever going to do backflips across the line if someone's shooting me with paintball guns. And my parents are all like, no, what is, what is our son doing? You're stupid. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'll make it even more dangerous then. Let's put some hungry alligators underneath this line so if I fall, I get eaten and die. How do you like that, parents? Oh, it worked. Looks like I'm going to Rome. I'm not going to bore you guys with a stupid montage. You guys don't have time for that. Or maybe you do. I don't... I don't know. But anyways, when I got to the hotel, I set up a camera so I could fake a reaction of me entering the room for the first time. It's important for the vlog. But then the worst thing that could have possibly ever happened to me happened. The staff member told me that having hungry alligators underneath me while I perform is not allowed. Like the alligators are a really, really important part of my performance. But the TV show's like, no way. And I'm like, okay, fine TV show. If you're not gonna give me hungry alligators, I'll just put an even more dangerous animal underneath. Like hungry tigers. Well, I'm walking around Rome. Haven't seen any tigers yet. Yes, I have to search Rome for tigers because the TV show couldn't get them for some reason. Like, your TV show, I thought you could do that, but I guess not. Now it's up to me. The only problem is I don't see tigers anywhere until I found a giant arena which might have tigers. If you're like, oh, Ben, you're not going to find tigers there. Well, a quick Google search would tell you that you're wrong. They actually used to fight tigers in arenas just like this. Oh, good thing I don't know what the sign says because I can't. Uh, read Italian, so I found these two guys that are gonna come with me. Yes, I recruited two fans of the channel to maybe trespass. I swear, I literally have the best fans in the entire world. You guys will literally do anything. Should we just send it in? Okay, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Uh, don't see any tigers up here anywhere. So there was actually no tigers, but what I did do was dangle myself from one hand because you should never pass up an opportunity to get those extra likes on Instagram. Oh my god. But then security spotted us and we're totally going to jail if we're not able to escape. Oh my gosh. I saw his security was right there. He probably sees us. He's gonna be right there soon. What should we do? Let's go this way. Security just goes that way. Let's go. He sees us, he's coming. So many thorns. Oh my gosh, he's here. We had barely survived all of us suffering near death injuries. But we're not letting that stop us because we have a hungry tiger to find. As the saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, try again at a circus. And there was nobody at this circus to stop us if we want to steal this tiger. I'm just gonna steal you really quick. The fence is like literally easily hoppable and not a single person here to stop me. But then, the TV show told me that hungry tigers were not allowed either. I was completely devastated. The show's not gonna give me the proper means to be able to perform my act, then I think the only way I'm gonna be able to win is by taking all the other contestants down. And that's what these spy glasses are for. I'm gonna study every single opponent so I can take them down. But the spy glasses broke. I mean, they're like $30. It's kind of to be expected, I guess. It's okay because I got a backup spy watch. <laughs> My heart beats five beats per minute. Seems legit. Where is everybody? Hello? Any performers? Where's all the performers at? What's up? You guys speak English? Well, I came down here to turn you guys all against yourselves, but I guess it's gonna be pretty hard to do if you guys don't speak English. Well, if I can't sabotage all the other contestants, then... There's really only one thing left that I can do. Do you know how many contestants are in this competition? I don't know. Well, I do know. There's 60 contestants in this competition. This means I have a 1 in 60 chance of winning. But I can increase these odds by pulling up a 1 in 60 random number generator. 15, 42, 41, 36, 20, 5, 19, 
that was close. I think I'm gonna stop there. Now the next thing I do where I have a one in 60 chance of winning, I'll probably win. But anyways, it is now time for me to practice my act. Okay, because we have the audience in the studio. Oh, the stage, we're doing a rehearsal with the audience? No, no, it's not recording today. Oh, this is the actual yeah, recording? So no rehearsal? No rehearsal. Oh, okay. Oh, so no practice. We're just gonna send it. Sick. Uh -huh. Do you need to warm up? That'd be nice, yeah. That'd be nice, okay. Oh. She said you can't. Okay, good. Okay. It's time, huh? Go, go. Hey! And this is where I'm gonna leave off. Yes, a cliffhanger, I know. Okay, it's not a cliff, but it's... Same thing, but it's okay. There's actually a few reasons of why I know I'm gonna make it to the next round. And those reasons are that.